Hi friends, welcome back to our, our bonsai kapilas creations and uh, today we are working on mogra plant. This is just a white, a white colored jasmine and it is a plant that gives beautiful white flowers during night time and it will be having lot of uh, perfume smell that if you put that plant at uh, near our uh, this bedroom or at the entrance of the our uh, house then that smell at uh, we uh, the smell will spreads all over our house and it uh, will be pleasing to our mind so this plant is uh, actually it is a creeper and uh, this one uh, and uh, i would like to make it into a bonsai plant and uh, and in being a spring season i already defoliated this plant and i will see is it needs any repotting or any new soil to it and uh, we will do um, for this plant now we are going to start do some wiring on this plant now we did some wiring here for these two branches uh, this one we can bend it little, little bit backwards this will be here this can also be given a shape so first what we'll do we'll take these two branches okay hmm. and we'll wire them If the branch is very thin, just hold the branch and wire it. Take the support of the wire and bend the branch. Otherwise, there are chances of oh, while bending, there are chances of oh, breaking down. So we have to be little bit careful while spreading the branches in all directions. These are the dry leaves we are cutting down now. So it is better to leave the, remove all the dry leaves. Now you can see the shape of the plant. Now we have to think about the reporting in the plan. First, we will remove topmost layer of soil and see if the plant is root bound or not. If it is root bound, we have to remove the soil. Topmost layer is covered with this creeper. It is better to remove this one completely.
sometimes this green layer no this green creeper it looks like a lawn and gives a nice look to the plant if you want you can keep it again that will stop the evaporation of the water also or sometimes if it is more more and more growth is there it is better to remove otherwise the all the nutrients will be taken by this plant It is not a root bomb. So what I will do? First, I will remove topmost tile. this root is going above the soil it won't it won't make it into a good nebari so this is better to remove this so now all radiant roots are there so i'll keep them all these roots are necessary for the perfect root growth of the plant perfect nebari of the plant all these are the they are spreading in all directions Now one inch layer of soil is removed. We'll now we'll cover this one. We'll fill this one inch soil with a new fresh bonsai soil. That helps the plants to grow nicely and that gives new energy that uh, now if you are adding in a fresh soil fresh soil will be having lot of nutrients and everything that bonsai soil and that gives lot of energy to the these roots and that helps the plants to give more growth and uh, more flowers there will be a proper growth then after 15 days i will start adding fertilizers Now this is a fresh bonsai soil. This fresh bonsai soil I am adding on the adding to the plant.
that is enough for the plant to grow properly and give this gives the energy this gives energy to the this top soil gives lot of energy to the plant now this top soil helps the plants to have more and more branches more flowers and there will be a proper growth in the plant now instead of this green keep, creeper i am putting moss over this soil because being a summer season there will be lot of your evaporation you are staying in a dry area humidity is very less as i told you many times this humidity is very less here so to protect the plant to protect the plants from the evaporation of the soil so we have to cover with the soil during the summer season that gives some coolness to the plant it is any time when you are repotting it is better to cover with the moss that moss protects the plant from evaporation of the soil and moss is has having a character of Uh, absorbing the water and that that give uh, that gives some coolness to the soil and uh, the feeder growth root uh, the growth of the feeder roots or fibrous roots will be more healthy now now when you are keeping the moss as it is like this it is just like a wall it won't allow any air to pass into the soil and to come out of the soil so what we have to for that to uh, to um, get more aeration more oxygen to the plant we have to make them into small pieces we have to make them into small pieces and spread it on the soil this moss no it helps the plant it helps the plants and uh, uh, reduces the it reduces evaporation of the water from the soil and it gives some coolness to the soil when the soil is cool there will be more production of more development of feeder roots that is fibrous roots will be there when there are more fibrous roots once you remove the soil you can see lot of smaller smaller roots those are the feeder roots or fibrous roots when there are more fibrous roots are there and the plant growth will be more more and more spider roots feeder roots or fi fibrous roots and more and more development on the top so we can see by that we can say when the plant is healthy and uh, and green then we can see that plant is having lot of feeder roots and it is getting proper nutrients from the soil so always it is better during most important thing is during the summer season it is better to protect this dark moss style with moss now i will water this plant and keep it in a shady place for only for one or two days and i will shift it to the sunny place then after 15 days i will give this plant of uh, fertilizers with potassium and phosphorus and nitrogen will be i reduce the nitrogen level in the ratio, ni nitrogen ratio in the fertilizer because the nitrogen the property of the nitrogen is to help greenery of the plant now this plant we are uh, making this ready for our flowers for the season so i will give more and more potassium phosphorus fertilizers and see the growth of the plants i will update with you after in the flowering season
now this is our finished plan thank you friends for watching and we will meet you in the next video thank you